I'm super and I know it. You do 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 How's it going, DC Squad? I got a box in the mail. It's a box with a jacket on the front. I'm officially Clark Kent and I work for the Daily Planet. <laughs> now I started subscribing to the world's finest collection right here because I missed it on the Batman and the, and the Wonder Woman statue. Really, I just wanted to start collecting these for the statues. And I never got into buying the loot crates. I mean, I, I like the loot crates. I watched all of Boogie2988's loot crate videos, but I could never afford them. And then it was like, I found out about the DC ones and I was like, hell yeah! But even then, I could never afford it because I'm always buying other stuff for the channel. And then the Superman one came out and I was like, dude, I don't give a crap if I have to chop off a foot and sell it on the black market. I'm starting to collect these. So here we have the Superman box. I'm definitely going to be tracking down some of the items. Blah, 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 blah. Future Brad, remember to cut that part out. You're not going to, are you? Yeah, thanks Future Brad, you're a jerk. I am gonna be trying to track down some of the other items from the previous boxes. There's a cool Batman belt buckle and the Batman and Wonder Woman and Cyborg statues and stuff like that, but really, this is the one I'm the most excited about on account of me being a big Superman fan. So, let's open it up. The front, you can see you've got the box with the jacket. You've seen that, I've shown that, haven't I? Yeah, you don't need to see that anymore. Let's slide off the sleeve. This is awesome. Look at that. I got a box with a Superman symbol on it. Like, oh, look at that. The back of the box is the cape. Oh, that is so clever, world's finest collectibles. I love this. I'm gonna store all kinds of other stuff in here. This box is not going anywhere. All right, I'm going to place the box off camera on my lap and start taking things out. Oh, I suppose I should show you the inside of the front flap, shouldn't I? Front flap. So first you get a little postcard right here that shows you everything that comes in it right there. But it's kind of like a spoiler and I really try not to spoil myself on this, so this card's going over there. Ah, oh, cool. Ah, oh, it's a Daily Planet side bag for when you want to take stuff places that are really small. Like, possibly a sandwich or something around that size. It's very cool though. You open it up, oh, and it's a cape. You can keep the flap down like that, and it's a Superman cape bag. This is awesome. I love this. To give you a close-up look at the bag, you got the Daily Planet logo right there. It's made out of a nice canvas material. This is actually a really high-quality side bag for something that comes in such a cheap box. Got the red Velcro, the Superman symbol right there, the blue, it's recognizable. Let's have a look and see what the inside of the bag's like. Yep. It's as I thought. It's a bag. All right, next. We get, oh, we got a t-shirt. A t-shirt for the Daily Planet with a big logo on the back and a small logo in the front. And I want to point out, I got the extra large on account of I might get fat again someday and I still want the shirt to fit me. So I figured I would get the big size. This is awesome. I'm going to be wearing this. You're going to see this in a future video. I promise you. Absolutely. And the shirt is made out of a really good material too. It's not just a cheap material. And it smells nice as well. Next. We got the Daily Planet desk organizer. What's a desk organizer? I don't think I've ever had one. I just stick things in jars and cans. It's got styrofoam. Oh. There's two parts. I can't toss the box or break. It appears to be some sort of Daily Planet globe. Yes, I believe it is. And there's a base. Oh, you want to see the box too, right? That's the one side of the box. It's got the Daily Planet, other side of the box. And then you got another side there, 80 years, and you got that inside. The stuff no one cares about. So I guess you take the base and the top and you put them together. And then, all the little bits and pieces that you've got in your office just sort of floating about that you don't know where they're going to go, they can go in there. It's like a little tiny circular junk drawer. How about that? Can't toss it. Gotta place it behind there like it's eggs. Otherwise, it'll break. And then next we get a Superman blanket that is his cape. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Tag, get off there. What are you thinking? Oh! Hold on, I have to get up on the sofa to show you. It's huge! It's massive! It's like a big, warm, cuddly... I'm not on camera yet! 
I am totally wearing it right now as a cape, and I don't care what anyone says, because it's mine. I got it in my box, and I paid for it, and it's my cape, and I'll do what I want with it. I mean blanket. Yes! This is awesome. <laughs> All right, don't worry, there's more stuff to look at. We got one of these, and it is a Daily Planet Lanyard Press Pass, I'm going to assume. Judging by the fact it's a lanyard, it is. It's my Daily Planet Press Pass Lanyard. It's got a nice close-up view. Oh, yeah. look, and there's room to put your picture right there. That is cool. You can put your stuff right there, your info and your picture there, and it's got the little... This is awesome. I am so glad that I subscribed to this box. Got the Superman symbols all along the side. If it would focus! There we go. Superman symbols all along the side. Cool. Might as well put that on too. What else we got? A crypto pin! I love these pin art things. Whoa. And I love me some crypto. Isn't that cool? That's gonna go on my bag. This bag, right here. Dog pin on bag. See? Told you I was gonna put the crypto pin on the Daily Planet bag. Booyah! Over the shoulder. We also got, ooh, a bag of silica gel. Caution, don't eat it. It's not edible. We also got a Daily Planet journal. Hold on, let's take all the wrapping off. You can't see nothing because the light's reflecting off of it. Hold on. This thing is wrapped up like Fort Knox. No, it's not. I'm just stupid. I had a sticky line. The Daily Planet Journal is made out of a nice, soft, supple pleather. It's a fake leather, but it does a job because it's soft and supple. I like it. Let's open the front up. I haven't opened it yet, so here we go. It open oh, button, and I'm not even seeing it. You are. I can't. I can't see it. Oh, Daily Planet pages. Everyone's got a header for the Daily Planet. Is there anything secret written in here? Like maybe a secret note from Superman or Lois? It's got. Uh, it's, um, nope, nope, nothing, nothing secret in there. No secret compartments either. This is cool though. I can use this to write down all my custom ideas and video ideas right here. This is perfect. I love this box. Next. Well, that didn't go as planned. It rolled directly off the sofa and onto the floor. Good thing I don't have a dog or a crypto or a crypto dog. Actually, it'd be cool if I had a crypto dog. He's strong enough. I could probably ride him. I would. I wouldn't have a car anymore. I'd just ride crypto. Got him to carry all my bags in his mouth. He's got super strength. What does he care? And then finally, the thing that I'm the most excited about in this box is the resin figure. This is pretty much the reason that I started collecting these. This got my attention. I knew this was going to be in the box. I didn't know that it looked like this, but I didn't know that it would come with one. There's the back of the box. Got a little write-up about baby kal getting rocketed to Earth. 80 years logo. The side. The front. There's the figure. The logos and stuff down here. This box is designed quite nicely. World's finest collectibles exclusive. Dude, I really like this. A lot. Let's pop him out. Over the shoulder. Wow. I am very happy with this blurry image. There we go. Yeah, that's actually really cool. And it's much, much cooler in person than hopefully what is showing up on camera. I really like this. And the thing is, to get a Superman of this scale in the Reborn suit, right? Not to be mistaken with the Rebirth suit up there behind Doobsday on the shelf there. The Reborn suit with the yellow and red belt and the red boots, it's actually difficult unless you pay a lot of money to one of the bigger statue companies, which I can't on account of me not having that kind of money. But I can, however, have this one and display it proudly. And now I do need to get the Batman and the Wonder Woman and the Cyborg. Because I'm a completionist, and it's that completionist life, yo. The cape is actually a softer kind of plasticky rubber material. It's not as hard as the rest of the figure. But the whole thing looks to be painted fairly clean for something that comes in this box. This box is actually not a lot of money either. It really isn't. I'm in Canada and I think I pay 68 bucks for this box and Americans, I think you pay less for this box if I'm not mistaken. I don't really know. I think I'm just talking out of my butt. I think I paid like 68 bucks. <coughs> Let me check my phone. Yeah, 68.99 right there. Now for 68.99, getting the blanket cape, the press pass, the little tiny statuette, the 
circular junk drawer, the bag, the book, the shirt, and the pin. Is that everything? But yeah, when you add up all the stuff that comes in this box, all this stuff, the figure, the book, the bag, the shirt, the pin, all this stuff, I guarantee you're gonna pay more than 68 bucks retail for it, Canadian. And that's 68 bucks shipped, not on top of shipping. Bang for buck, in my opinion, this is one of the best loot boxes you can get. And it's the only DC loot box that I know of. If you know of any more, leave it down in the comments section below, just in case I'm missing out on some. If you liked the video, bop it with a like. If you have any comments, leave them down below. And if you think you'd like to see more of my face and my action figure reviews and whatever DC stuff I post on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Remember to bebop the bell, and I'll see you with the next one. Have an awesome day, super friends. Take care.